Hello and welcome back to Sailing With Us. In part one I showed you how I stripped out my Volvo Penta water pump and in this episode we rebuild it again. Exciting stuff but uh, I'll start off with a with a recap what I did last time. The pump's shaft seal had failed and dripping seawater into the bilge. I removed the pump, made a visit to the Chandlers and bought some shiny things. Not wishing to be trapped on the boat in the incoming snowstorm, we headed back to my workshop where I pulled out the bearings and the seals. Before moving on to the rebuild, there's something I ought to explain about these uh, seals. They're quite special really. They're known as a lip seal and they have, I don't, can you just see that in there? There's a, a spring, it's called a garter. It's important they're put in the correct way round, um, otherwise they won't seal properly. So the side with the spring goes to the side with the liquid. Remembering to put the spring to the outside, I'm using a socket which is exactly the same size as the outside shell. I'm just pushing that to home nice and securely. And the same on the other side, spring facing outwards. There we go. I'm just going to pop the um, drip ring o-ring I'll call it that goes between the two seals in as well. Just a little blob of uh, o-ring grease on that. <coughs> there we go. Pulling the bearing on is almost the reverse of uh, stripping it apart. Except I've put a 12mm washer down there just to help spread the load on the face of the bearing. I won't bore you with that going all the way through. So this is bearing number two with the all important spacer there. Let's pull this one down. I'm pleased with that. That's uh, the bearings pulled down. Just double check. There we go. 39.5 mil. Before putting the uh, bearings and spindle back into the pump, just want to pre-pack them with a bit of grease. I'm using this uh, water resistance grease. Just coat them with a little bit of grease in there. So just get everything lined up and push it in. To press the bearings into the body of the pump I'm going to use some spacers and a socket. The reason for this is I want the loads to go through the bearing and not the spindle which we've just lined up to 39.5 mil. And here we go again. Just pushing these ones in. I had to stop then and uh, take this washer out. I realised that uh, this mandrel dolly needs to be narrower or smaller in diameter than the bearing because the bearing actually has, gets pushed in and recessed. So that had to come out. You can see in there, you just see the bearing coming past that oil hole. That feels pretty good. Uh, clip back in its groove. While I'm pushing this roll pin in place 
I want to ask you, the viewer, if anyone's tried preheating the bearings in an oven before assembly. If you were successful, leave a comment in the box below. In the previous episode I took a strip down reverse engineering measurement of one millimetre. And finally that all important check with the feeler gauge. Beautiful. So we're nearly there now. I've just masked up the areas that I want paint to go on to and put a plug in each side of the inlet and outlet. Let's get ready to spray. I'm going to give it a couple more coats of paint and then change the uh, studs on the cover for a, for the original screws. And uh, yeah, basically you can stay and watch paint dry if you really want to. So back on board I've fitted the internal back plate, the cam and the rubber impeller. Just time to assemble this plastic gear wheel and secure it with an external circlip. Oh, just a little slither of uh, o-ring grease onto the um, surfaces. We're coming towards the end of this video, so it'll soon be time to run up the engine and test for leaks. Before I go, I need to mention I've had a stroke, so using an engineer's vise certainly helped to grip the pump while replacing the bearings. Changing the bearings and seals has been a, a relatively simple task, so perhaps if you're feeling competent you can save some money and have a go at doing it yourself. We apologise for this boring but informative video, we feel it wasn't action packed, so to make up for it we will play you out with some dolphins. <laughs>